Planned Parenthood of Illinois saying more women now traveling here are expecting an even larger surge in the coming weeks. This as groups are preparing to offer new resources in Wisconsin at home. Tonight, an abortion ban border scramble. In Wisconsin, groups like Wisconsin Right to Life doubling their efforts to keep Wisconsin women in state. What they are offering women is so much more comprehensive than Planned Parenthood. As just miles across the Wisconsin border, this Planned Parenthood clinic in Waukegan built in anticipation of the Supreme Court overturning Roe. This is America in 2022. This is not America in 1822. Illinois officials say they've been preparing for months. Tonight saying they're estimating now serving up to 30,000 more out-of-state abortion patients each year. This Illinois Planned Parenthood call center now inundated with calls from out of state. State officials tonight promoting itself as a safe haven for Wisconsin women, as Wisconsin Democrats ask the courts to invalidate Wisconsin's ban. We have been overwhelmed with phone calls from people. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin Executive Director Tanya Atkinson now using her resources to direct Wisconsin women to neighboring states where abortion is still legal. Meantime, Wisconsin Right to Life also increasing its funding for emergency grant programs meant to help new and expecting mothers in Wisconsin. We know that women have the option to cross into Illinois and potentially have an abortion. They have an option to get um, abortion pills through the mail. So that's a very real decision and we want them to feel so supported and equipped here in Wisconsin that they feel that they can choose life. Tonight, Wisconsin Right to Life saying they're looking to expand those resources beyond rent and housing to offer assistance in other areas. In Waukegan, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News.